Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chloe and welcome to the very first video of hashtag back to school with AG. In case you guys don't know, hashtag back to school with AG is my back to school series that I'm doing for the entire month of August. And yeah, so today's video, I am doing some really fun little DIY fashion and clothing accessories for your American Girl doll. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is to make that really pretty little gray kimono sweater that you saw in the first clip. And for this, you're going to need some fabric, a hot glue gun, a pen mark or pen or a marker, some scissors, and your doll. So for this, I'm using some gray knit fabric that's from an old t-shirt. And I'm just going to go ahead and start by cutting out a large square. And then I'm going to lay my doll down. And I'm going to make a couple marks where her neck is and where the inside of her arms are. Now we're going to start cutting out the actual sweater itself. And to do this, you're going to want to fold your fabric in half right on the little line you made for her neck. And then just go ahead and cut it out and leave a little bit more than an inch where you put the marks for her inner arm. So now you're going to have that long rectangle and I'm just trimming up the bottom on mine making sure that it's more even. So now you have your rectangle and I'm cutting out a small semicircle on the fold where I have those two marks that I made at her neck. So that's going to be where her neck is. And then in the middle of that semicircle, I am just cutting out a slit because that's going to be the front of my kimono. So now I'm just going to kind of place it on my doll and see where it's going to go. And now I'm going to start by making the sleeves. So once I have the sleeves, I'm going to match up the two sides and just glue them together. So that way there are some little fake sleeves. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well. You can sew instead of hot gluing, but I wanted to make sure that all of you guys can do this. So if you don't know how to sew, then you can do this instead. And so I put it on the doll just so you guys can see what it looks like. And the two little flaps in the front where I cut that slit, they're a little bit um, too big because I still want you to be able to see the outfit. So I'm trimming that down a little bit so there's a little less fabric in the front so you can still see her shirt. So now I'm just trimming mine, making sure it's all even and it's looking the way that I want it to. But this is such an easy craft and these kimonos and long cardigans are really popular right now. I think they look so cute. And just for an extra detail, I am covering up some of the raw edges with this pretty little lace flower. And I didn't record that part, but I just hot glued it all the way around and I think that looks really, really cute. And then for the next craft, all you're going to need is a piece of fabric and some scissors. For mine, I'm using a plaid piece of fabric or a flannel. And this is to give the appearance that it looks like your doll has a flannel tied around her waist because that's a really popular style right now to tie a flannel around your waist. But I don't actually have a plaid shirt for my doll, so this is a simple trick on how to make it look like your doll has one. So all I'm doing is taking my piece of fabric and just cutting it out so there's a long rectangle flap in the back. And then of course you also have the two longer rectangles so that you can tie it around your doll's waist. But I think this is really easy and fun because it looks like you have a plaid shirt tied around your doll's waist. But you don't actually have one and you honestly cannot tell the difference when it's on so it's perfect for a photo shoot and if you guys don't want to spend like $14 on Etsy buying a mini plaid shirt for your dolls. And then here you can see me just tying it around Alice's waist showing you guys how it looks. I think this is really cute and you can do this with pretty much anything but yeah this is such a trendy style right now and I just think it looks so cute. And then this very last one isn't totally a clothing piece but it's more of I guess like a little doll hack so I'm taking some stick on gems that I got from the craft store and I'm just putting them on my doll's ear to make some really quick and easy earrings I thought this was such an easy craft that I had to share it with you guys and yeah so that's just so simple but it looks really really pretty especially on dolls with short hair so let me know what you guys think of these crafts down below in the comments let me know what your favorite one was I definitely think mine was the kimono and yeah I will see you guys on Wednesday with another back to school with AG video that'll give you guys some more outfit ideas for your American Girl dolls so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye